let's get into pricing. The average price for a home in Huron County was just over $563,000. And to remind you that this price is average across all areas for residential, which includes farms and condos. The average price for all residential is down 11% compared to last year in September, and interestingly, almost the same month over month. The difference between August and September's average is less than $1,000. The end of July and into August, it really looked like things were going to pick up for our fall market. And the data looks as if it did go up, but then it just stayed on par with some of the stats and declined slightly in a few other numbers. So let's dive into some of these. In September, we did see 21% more sales compared to August. And in September, there were 5.6 months of supply available in Huron County, which keeps us in a balanced market, but just at the cusp of it. For a reminder, under four months of inventory is a seller's market where you can see prices increase. Four to six months means more of a balanced market. Over six months of supply means there's lots of properties available for buyers to choose from, which can drive prices down. So if no more listings came to market, it would take about 5.6 months for all of them to sell given the average sales volume. If we compare September 2023 to 2022, we are up 70% from September 2022 and up 6% compared to last month. Let's get into pricing. The average price for a home in Huron County was just over $563,000. And to remind you that this price is average across all areas for residential, which includes farms and condos. The average price for all residential is down 11% compared to last year in September, and interestingly, almost the same month over month. The difference between August and September's average is less than $1,000. All right, the average list till sale price ratio was 97.3 in September. This means that properties were selling for 97.3 of list price. That's down just under 1% compared to last month and compared to last year. Even though 1% isn't a huge number, it's still a great reminder for sellers to stay ahead of the market trends moving into the winter. You need to be pricing your property fair out of the gate to gain traction quickly. Let's discuss how long it's taking for properties to sell. On average for September in Huron County, it was taking 47 days for a property to sell. That has gone up seven days. And in 2022, it was taking 44 days in September. And what we did see in 2022 after September, the days on market did increase into winter months, which is normal. But again, a reminder, if you want your property to sell quicker and stand out in this market, you need to be prepared with a good price and marketing strategy for the winter we are heading into. If you have stayed with me this far, I know some of this information sounds gloomy, but if you're a buyer with a pre-approval in place already, you should be jumping on these opportunities and I'll explain why next. Okay, if you're thinking about buying real estate in the near future, mortgage rates are ranging between 5.79 and 6.3 with Guiding Star Mortgage Group. These rates will depend if you're going fixed or variable and whether you're getting financing through a bank or an alternative lender. We have two more Bank of Canada announcements for this year, one at the end of the month on October 25th and the other on December 6th. If you're looking to buy in this market and have a pre-approval, you need to get in the game. When interest rates are higher than the population is used to, buyers will sit back and wait for interest rates to drop again. If they do in the near future, who is a crystal ball, right? In this market, real estate prices will naturally decline due to low demand from buyers. So right now with 5.6 months of inventory to choose from in Huron County, you can take advantage of negotiating a property, possibly under asking, with all of your conditions accepted by the seller. Once those rates drop, the market will flood with buyers again, and you can expect similar conditions to what we experienced in the pandemic. If you need help with finding a trusted mortgage agent, we have an in-house mortgage team called Guiding Star that is powered by Dominion Lending Center and can provide you a pre-approval within 24 hours of receiving documentation. Although the market didn't pick up as much activity as we thought it indicated, I do still have some insights for buyers and sellers. Anyone thinking of selling needs to reach out now to create a plan. If you aren't looking for an immediate move, it would be worth inquiring about listing in the spring, and now is the time that you will want a few outside photos taken to have on file. This will ensure that you have beautiful photos for a few different seasons for buyers to envision and see. If you are looking to sell quickly, consider discussing the price you need to list at and then listing just a bit lower. 
pricing ahead of the winter season will help you in a few ways. You may be pleasantly surprised to be working with buyers that know they're getting a house that is priced fair. They may be willing to negotiate other terms that are important to you, such as a quicker close or taking on some furniture that you don't feel like moving and so on. Some of you may be thinking that I'm leaving money on the table, but if your property sits and sits because buyers won't even come in the door, then I promise you that you will be definitely leaving money on the table. We can market your home the proper way, unique to its neighborhood and characteristics to negotiate a good sale for you. Buyers, this is a good season for you to be shopping around and keeping your eyes peeled. We are on the cusp of a buyer's market and that is giving you a big advantage in your shopping options. Less bidding wars, lower prices, better negotiation power. And if rates drop, you may get a better rate in a few years and then you will come out winning versus someone who buys a home at a way higher price with a lower rate who will then renews their term at a higher rate. You will have extra money at the end of the day and more equity in the future if you fix it up and hold that real estate. Let's wrap up. Whether you're buying or selling, your situation is always unique and a general market update shouldn't be used as a personal guide. If you wanna know where you stand on your home or you're thinking of buying and want to know where the hidden opportunities may lie, you can request a free no obligation market evaluation or book a call with me to have a no pressure conversation about your options. I'll always just give you the real down-to-earth advice so that you're informed to make the best decision that's right for you based on your personal situation. If you think that would be helpful, you can click the link with this video and set it up. Otherwise, feel free to check out my other videos and I'll be back next month to let you know how the data added up.